Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine, episode 62 to 63. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down. Taken down. But I do have all my reads on my private channel, which is on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Here I will, will remove all censorship and the cat logos blurs and also gain early access to most of my reads. This month I'm a bit behind for November of 2023. I've been sick but I'm fully, not fully recovered, I'm pretty okay now where I can show my face and read more consistently so yeah. All right guys let's go ahead and get started. Warning, this episode contains disturbing content and imagery. Well, yeah, everyone seems to think the same, but we have something they don't. Bzz, we have... <laughs> Horus. It's glorious! April 4th, 1983, the Challenger Space Shuttle launches for the first time. Ten missions before disaster. Bzz, bzz. 29 days later, the lowest temperature ever recorded on the ground, minus 89.2 Celsius. Vostok Station, Antarctica. Coincidence? Not a chance. You goddamn pod people. <laughs> hey, Horace. Calm down, buddy. Horace, this is Maggie. Maggie, Horace. Hey. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I've heard a lot of ominous hints. <laughs> well, don't let the rumors scare you. I only bite when startled. It's nice to meet you too, Maggie. Horace is our resident mad scientist, and he's a key to our, our entire plan. Horace, do you want to explain to Maggie what you're working on? She won't understand it. I can tell. Waste of air. No offense. I'm just being honest. Horace. Excuse me? Why? You think I'm dumb? Yes. You're not red status. You can still live in this world. So if you were smart, you wouldn't be here with us freaks. You'd be fighting to get your kid back. You don't know me. Yes, I do. This place, this plan, is for us messed up strays who have nothing to lose. You're a house cat. I can hear it. You're hanging on to something. Probably your family. And in this world, that's stupid risk. Someone that dumb, not worth my time. Sorry. You're an asshole. I know. It was nice meeting you, Maggie. What's going on over here? It's a lot of sketches. A walkie-talkie, a map. Electric, something with a lightning bolt over here. Magnet, pulling stuff. A dinosaur. Is that a, a Illuminati sign here? A forever eternity... Some sort of math. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. I'm trying to figure it out too. But here's the state of the United States here. And here's like the center. I'm assuming where the capital, well, the new capital is. And here are bodies of water. And um, these are towers, I'm assuming. So this is just me trying to analyze this before they go in, into very deep details about it. But yeah, there's another equation up here. Oh, I wonder, what was this? Hmm. So, when we get redded, they cut the power to the mouth mechanism. Uh, but you figured out you can break it. Using strong electromagnets? I admit, that's nice. I'll have to remember that. 
And then this is some kind of modified walkie-talkie. Oh, I get it. A mobile signal jammer. Is this how Judy could speak to me in the neighborhood? I wonder about that. But let's be real. That's not what caused my eye. This map, what are these points and they're numbered? Hmm. Cities, maybe? Or, wait, no, you didn't. Are these radio towers? You've been hacking into them and measuring their signal latent latency, comparing the milliseconds differences between the signals sent to our phones. And the faster the signal, the closer they are to the source, which means you've narrowed it down to a state or two. That's impressive. So if you find the source of the signal, we could find out who did this, maybe even fight them. But it looks like you haven't even able to narrow it down since then. Which leads me to ask, why did you ask Judy to bring me in? Uh, 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 okay, yeah, she's good. I told you. What, you took a comp sci class in college or something? I've had some time on my hands. You'd be surprised what you can learn from high school science books. And I'll admit, I've been thinking about the radio tower thing myself. Our phones are our only connection to whoever did this. I need thoughts. I never thought someone would be crazy enough to hack in though. Huh, well. And one more thing. I may be dumb for hanging on to them, but you don't ever speak about my family. Do we understand each other? Yes, ma'am. Good boy. So then, what do you need me for? <clears throat> okay, okay, Miss Marty Pants. Click. Skrrr. Whoa, what the hell is that? You may have some talent, maybe even some experience, but before you can join us, Strays, there are one more question. Do you have the stomach for it? God, he's not gonna go. Oh, God. oh my goodness. Warning, this episode contains disturbing content and imagery. You'd better be careful. I'm putting a lot of trust in you here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, my first rodeo, honey. Now, just hold still. This is the part where you die if you move your head. Are you serious? Well, why don't you try moving your head and find out? Horace! <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. That part's over. And... Done. Got the sucker. Behold, one government-issued GPS chip safely removed without tripping any kill switches. And... The incision is small enough that this weird material will close it up itself. You may now compliment my skills. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot how small it is. You've seen one before? Uh, yeah. I took one out of a cop's head. Nice. Did the kill switch trip? He was already dead. Ah, you don't. Still have it, do you? Nah, we used it to frame our neighbors for his murder. Well, that's good work. Thanks, I guess. You should be proud. Every one of them we kill is a thorn in the lion's paw. I guess that's true. So, um, what's your story? That mask, is that homemade? Yeah. Did you... I don't really know you well enough to talk about it. I just let you cut open my head. Judy, we're done here. Already? Did you sew it into the squirrel? Just about to, but Maggie's here is good to go. I already took the chip from her phone too. Hey, when did you... Alrighty then. You okay, Maggie? I guess, yeah. Feels weird being a free woman now. And you're absolutely sure this will work? 
It will. We put the GPS in the squirrel, let it back out in the woods. Even if they do manual checks, it'll just look like the GPS glitched. But crucially, it's still moving, so it shouldn't trip the automatic inactivity detection. We had it working just fine with Robert. Robert? Oh, was he your man on the inside before me? Wait, I remember now. He went missing, right? Just up and left his wife? What happened? He got cold feet. Right, and then he quit, Maggie. Just ran off. Hmm. And if I get cold feet, then you're free to leave. Are you getting cold feet? Because I'm serious about what I said. Sam, after what he did at the outpost, he's not coming with us. And I'm not changing my mind. I know, I know. I just need some time to think. But seriously, if I do choose him, I can walk, right? Of course you can, Maggie. We're not savages. Done. My fastest stuff and stitch yet, and still alive. Good job of practice on all those test squirrels. God rest her tiny souls. You should wake up in an hour or so. Should we go over the plan, Miss Smarty Farts? Got all in the knot on in that noggin? Uh, okay, sure. So, you use radio towers to find out roughly where our phone signal comes from, to a couple of states. But now, you need to narrow it down. So, you need to follow the red signal from a phone. So, that's why you need a phone with Tier 2 access that can send the red signal, which is why you need me. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, there's just one thing you left out, and I'm afraid to ask. But you need to send a real red signal, so who's getting redded? Because if you're talking about me, I can't do that. I know we would never expect you to. Truth is, though, it could be anyone. The squirrel trick will make it so you can steal the phone without getting caught on the GPS. So once you have the phone, you can pick whoever and nobody will know you did it. Who deserves it? Anyone you hate? I'm not picking it like that. Regardless of how I feel about anyone, we're talking about killing their children. Oh, no. Well, a couple more dead kids for the pile. We're talking about saving the world, Maggie. Horace. But, uh, he is kind of right, Maggie. It's not killing them, it's releasing them, setting them free. Uh, is it? Uh, I don't have time for this. I have a squirrel to deploy. Look, Maggie, if you don't want to choose, we'll just pick someone at random. Try not to get hung up on it, okay? First, focus on figuring out how to get the phone. It'll be easier without the tracker, but still, with those freaks in Lakeview, Watch your back. She's right, Maggie. Huh? Who said that? Oh my god. It's you. Gina? She's right. With us freaks out here. What? You better watch your back. What the heck is she doing there? I did not, I did not expect Gina to be there. Like, what in the world? Didn't she just left? Well, so she pretty much followed them all the way to their camp. So now I'm assuming they're gonna wipe her out, you know? Hmm, it's a good read. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this story, definitely subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!